two, one, and lift off. If I'm Cody Kessler, Doug, I'm walking around Berea reminding people of how much pro football focus likes me. Oh, that's, that's good. That's yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Analytics. You sure. can never go too heavy into analytics. Two, um, he needs to make accuracy his claim to fame. He's not going to grow suddenly three inches overnight. He was a pretty accurate quarterback last year. He ran into trouble, as most rookies do late in the year, but I think he still did some good things. And one, he's just got to work on his arm strength. When you heard Hugh Jackson at the Combine saying that the other thing he likes is arm talent, mm -hmm. you, wonder, you do wonder how this guy got drafted if he's under 6'2", and there's not a lot of arm talent there. But he needs to, to get to the point where he can make that throw in the middle of the field occasionally. I think the, in the end, Sashi Brown likes accuracy. And the way Hugh Jackson talked at the Combine, I think we can agree now that Cody Kessler was Sashi's guy. It sure sounded like Hugh's it. Not Hugh's guy. It sounded like um, it. Number three, <laughs> Cody Kessler should be glad that Buffalo kept Tyrod Taylor. Number two, uh, he should hope that three quarterbacks get drafted in the top 10 before they can get to the Browns at 12. <laughs> and number one, he should hope that Bill Belichick asks Jimmy Haslam for a flying J franchise in exchange for Jimmy Garoppolo because Cody Kessler is nothing more than the fallback plan. They have their backup quarterback set. And I don't even necessarily mean that jokingly. No, I know. I think he could be a good number two. He's not their answer unless they can't get anybody else. I'd rather see them start him than RG3 next year if it comes down to that. I agree.